Another innovative space when it comes to talking about specialty contact lenses are hybrid contact lenses. It's in the name. It is a combination of rigid gas permeable lens with an outer skirt made of the soft material of a soft contact lens. In this video, I will go over what a hybrid contact lens is, who are they for, and how they might be able to help your visual needs. Hey YouTube, my name is Dr. Natalie Chai. This channel brings you the latest science-based education and treatments in dry eye disease, myopia management, and specialty contact lenses to help you understand why it should matter to you for optimal eye health, function, comfort, and even beauty. Those of you who have ever tried to wear a rigid gas permeable lens, especially after having worn soft lenses or nothing at all, you know how uncomfortable it can be. If you remember from my previous video on discussing the RGP lenses, they provide pristine quality of vision. However, for a lot of people, the discomfort of the lens can greatly override the good vision. Now this is where a patient may be a good candidate for a hybrid lens. Hybrid lenses will provide the vision of a GP lens alongside the comfort of a soft lens. When you think about it, you're getting the best of both worlds in one. So number one, who is a good candidate for hybrid contact lenses? The patient profile is not too far off from the usual candidate profile for someone considering a strict RGP lens. It includes patients complaining of lens rotation or fluctuating vision with soft torque lenses. Patients interested in RGP lenses, but concerned about the comfort. Patients who already wear soft multifocal contact lenses looking for better vision. Patients with irregular corneas looking to try other contact lens options and patients who are presbyopic with astigmatism and even patients with regular corneal astigmatism. There are many designs of hybrid lenses including multifocals. Now this allows the presbyopic patients to have clear vision at all distances. Now that's similar to that of a progressive lens for glasses. There are designs that correct for astigmatism together with the reading power. Now this gives the patient the option to reduce their dependency on glasses. Number two, brief history of the hybrid lens. The first hybrid contact lens was introduced in 1983. There were a couple companies at the time looking to improve the design of the lens, and in 1985, after research and development, was reintroduced as a soft perm lens. The initial indications for this hybrid contact lens included improving performance and comfort for the fitting of irregular corneas in comparison to RGP lenses. In addition, it was designed for managing regular astigmatism and spherical refractive error for cases in rigid contact lens adaptation that could not be achieved. There were issues with the initial design of the soft perm lens, including low oxygen transmission of interestingly, both the rigid uh, contact lens part and also the soft contact lens section. There were also reports of the lens breaking and splitting at the transition section between the rigid and soft sections. Now, fast forward later into 2001, Porter Lambda Technologies, which is now later and presently known as Synergize, began research and development of a new hybrid lens that received FDA approval in 2005. They used high decay central materials, which increased the oxygen and moisture permeability through the RGP section. They also improved the junction between the rigid and soft portions that reduced the incidence of splitting. The great thing about the Synergize lens is the option to adjust the soft skirt parameters as well as having multiple rigid gas base curves, allowing for more precise control of lens fitting characteristics. Number three, what are the advantages of hybrid lenses? Hybrid lenses provide the stability of vision that some other patients may have issues with excessive rotation on a traditional lens on the eye. Hybrid lenses provide the increased comfort and increase the success rate of a patient being able to tolerate an RGP lens on the eye. Number four, what are the disadvantages? As much as I would love to offer hybrid lenses for everybody, it may not be suitable for some. Unfortunately, hybrid lenses may not be the ideal lens for those suffering from severe dry eye. Reason being, sometimes the junction area between the RGP zone and the soft skirt can create a suction area which may cause a localized area of dryness. In addition, hybrid lenses do not correct for a type of astigmatism called lenticular astigmatism. In other words, this is the 
astigmatism originating from the lens of the eye and not from the cornea. If there is a significant amount of residual or leftover astigmatism from the lens of the eye, a hybrid lens may not be able to correct for it sufficiently to provide good vision. Number five, how are they fit? Similar to rigid gas permeable lenses, they can be fit simply by using the scans from a topography and a simple refraction. The technology nowadays allows for very precise first-time fit success. Other optometrists choose to fit empirically using an in-office fit set, which can sometimes take a little more chair time, but would be able to first-handedly vary specific parameters to the fit. As the hybrid lens is considered a specialty lens, it does require a level of expertise and experience from the practitioner to be able to confidently assess the fit and monitor the success of the lens on eye for optimal visual outcome and comfort for the patient. Other practitioners have noted that hybrid lenses have added a significant value to their practice. The hybrid lens appears to satisfy the patients who were not able to find the quality of vision or comfort from other contact lens modalities. I know from my own experience when I fit a patient with a multifocal soft lens, I always set the expectation that I need to implement the principle of robbing from Pete to give to Paul, in that I am unable to provide clear vision for both the distance and near vision. In essence, I need to take away from one to give to the other, so it is normal for the patient to notice blur at one distance. Hybrid multifocal lenses have proven to be great for these patients. Now, it is the responsibility of the doctor to carefully assess the profile of the patient as well as their personality for the candidacy to wearing these lenses. After all, there will always be that subset of patients who may not be able to find satisfaction in these lenses as well. As a bonus, the price is competitive with a custom Torx soft lens for patients with normal corneal astigmatism. It is one of those technologies that still need to find its way into the optometric world. I'm starting to incorporate it more and more as I keep seeing just how many patients are unable to tolerate the traditional commercial soft lenses in the market these days. As optometrists, I feel we uphold the responsibility to keep updated on what is available or at least be able to point the patient in the right direction to make them aware of what's available as an option. There are hybrid cars nowadays and what an ingenious idea to have a hybrid lens. The ultimate goal of anything hybrid is to combine the best qualities of two modalities into one functional unit. To me, it's a no-brainer to at least learn about it. I hope you gained some value from today's video. It's so amazing what the industry is doing. The ultimate goal is to be able to provide and make vision a possibility for every single person on earth. That's it for me today, YouTube. If you enjoy learning about what's out there when it comes to contact lenses, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to make sure you don't miss my new video every second Thursday. Take care of your eyes and we'll see you in the next video.